Welcome to Latest World News. The smell of burned plastic leaps out at you. Acrid in the throat, omnipresent, extinguishing from the air all the other smells of city life, because really there is none. The scenes of destruction, the fact every street is pockmarked by two years of shelling, you have seen in activist videos online. But the smell is something striking, it notifies you that you are on the edge of humanity. Aleppo is a dusty, pale skeleton of the city I reported from 22 months ago. Since then, it has seen too much. It has seen the world lose much of its horror at its plight and instead focus on the extremists in rebel ranks who Western officials fear may eventually turn their ire on Europe. It has seen the regime of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad seem to edge towards collapse and then pull back from the brink with Russian and Iranian support, in the face of a divided opposition and international community. But most visibly of all, Aleppo has had the life bombed out of it. You cannot open your eyes without seeing the impact of Syria's internecine rush to oblivion. Every building is marked. It is in keeping with the contempt Assad's regime has for those who disagree with him, that the largest city has borne the brunt of his crudest and most indiscriminate weapon. The barrel bomb is itself a symptom of the war so long and exhaustive. The ways of state-backed killing have by necessity become homemade and improvised, rather than precise and militarized. It is a simple device, take a barrel and fill it with explosive and any shrapnel you can find. Then fly over Aleppo, normally in helicopters, and drop the barrel when you see a populated area.